So today I want to talk about uh, LAT, which stands for Living Apart Together. Um, and this is a growing trend, you can look it up on Wikipedia. Um, and I am talking about this from a very personal perspective. So I've been married, I've been divorced, I've been living with my boyfriend for uh, 25 years. Um, and it's very, as I think most relationships are kind of complicated and I think as much as we have in common, we are also really different. I mean, where he's an Aquarius, I'm a Leo, it's kind of polar opposites. Um, and we're both really independent, uh, but I, he was always more into freedom than I was, uh, or so I thought. But um, so three years ago, so it was just sort of like an average relationship, you know, living together, whatever hassles, problems one has. Um, but obviously it's lasted a long time. And then about three years ago, I was looking for a new apartment, sort of just as a, a lock, actually, and I happened to see and fall in love with this apartment in Long Island City. And I bought it, and I fully expected that Brad would move with me, but um, he was adamant. He was not going to move to Queens under any circumstances. So, sort of by accident, we became this, like, LAT couple living apart together. But what has happened in the interim is that um, I realized that I had no idea how much I actually love living by myself. Um, I really sort of came into my own. Uh, I have new friends. I give a lot of dinner parties, which I love, and which is something that Brad always hated. Um, and in a, sort of in a certain way, you're sort of living almost without compromise. You know, you want to stay up really late, or you want to watch whatever you want to watch on TV, or you want to get up really early, and there's like no one to really answer to uh, about that. You can just like do what you want to do. You know, you want to have friends stay. They can. Um, so anyway, so three years has gone by, and Brad and I have stayed together, and it's initially pretty rocky, but now it's kind of gotten its groove on. Um, and I, I just can't even imagine that I would live with somebody again. But I do love the idea. It would be like fabulous if we lived next door to each other. So anyway, so this series, what I'm going to do, because I've been talking about this with a lot of my friends and just acquaintances, and it seems to really intrigue people. So I'm going to cover um, what I think is like the upside of this, what the watch outs would be. Um, and what I see is sort of the, the difference between living with someone versus being together with somebody and being really committed, but having your own spaces. Um, so if anyone has any comments on this, I always love to hear back from people and I will respond back. Thanks. Bye.